Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caroline and today we're going to talk about something I'm really sick of people saying to me. Before we get started, I would like to mention that I am doing some market research on what the chronically ill community needs in regards of tools to handle um, medical gaslighting. And I really need your help. I would love to do an interview with you where I can ask you some questions about medical gaslighting and your experience with it so that I can develop the program you need in order to avoid and handle medical gaslighting. I have a booking calendar and I will put a link in the description down below um, for the booking site. And I also have a video about medical gaslighting and the project I'm doing on avoiding and handling medical gaslighting. And you can watch that video by clicking the link right up here. Let's get started. So I'm in a flex job and I work 16 hours a week. And for those of you who don't know, a flex job is something you can get in Denmark if you are um, disabled or chronically ill, where you work an amount of hours that you can do, you get paid for that, and then you also get some uh, support on the side so that you can live a decent life. And I work 16 hours a week. I work from 9 a.m. till 1 p.m. on mon Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. And then I have Wednesday off and the weekends off. When I tell people about my work schedule, and this is people, I wanna say, this is people who know that I'm in a flex job. They know I live with chronic illnesses, right? And yet they always say, oh, that sounds like amazing. You don't have to come in before 9 a.m. and you already go home at 1 p.m. and you have this, you know, day off midweek and you have all weekends off. It sounds amazing. I wish I had that schedule so I could have all this spare time. I'm really tired of it. You know, if you are healthy and abled, I do understand why my work schedule sounds amazing. I would think so too, if, I, if there was nothing wrong with me and I could, you know, I had all the energy in the world and I was super healthy and everything. Only working 16 hours a week sounds amazing. But the thing is, when people say this stuff to me, right, they don't really take into account that there is a reason I only work 16 hours a week. They think that I have all this spare time, but I don't. I, I don't have a lot of spare time. I will even claim that in many ways I have less spare time than them because my spare time is usually used to rest and restore, right? So I can be ready for the next day. Um, and they don't really take that into account. But you know, I, I have to be at work at 9 a.m. So I get up at 6 a.m. And that's three hours before I have to go to work um, or I have to be at work. I usually leave home around 8.45 a.m. So I have almost three hours before I actually have to go. And people are like, what, you get up so early when you don't have to be at work before? And yes, I do. And that's because of my illnesses. I, I do have a video about my morning routine. If you want to see that, I will also put a link up here for that. Um, but I, I do that because I need time to prepare myself mentally and physically to actually get out of the door. This is something that takes a long time for me. Sometimes it's relatively easy for me to get out of bed. Other times, you know, I can spend an hour just lying in bed thinking about how hard it is to actually get up. Um, so I, I have to have enough time in the morning in order to make it to work in time. I also have a bowel disease and my bowel tend to want to go to the toilet in the mornings. For some reason it decided that that's when we have to go. And sometimes it's not that bad and other times I have really bad diarrhea. Sometimes it's even painful. Sometimes it's really like, it really takes a lot of energy because it's rarely very comfortable for me to be on the toilet. 
so I have I have to have time in the morning to actually sit on the toilet because you know I can sit there for a long time you know 30 minutes is not unnormal for me to be at you know on the toilet um, and also if it's painful and if it's, I have really bad diarrhea and so on I also lose a lot of energy use a lot of energy on it so i have to rest afterwards for at least 30 minutes i have to lie down and just recover and drink some water so i also have to, need to have time for that you know so it's like i you know i get up really early in the morning because i have to be ready for 9 a.m so yes i don't go to work before 9 a.m but i literally spent three hours in the morning preparing mentally and physically to actually go to work. How many people do that who are healthy and able, right? Most of them, most people are able to just get, most healthy people are able to get out of bed, take a shower, eat and go to work. Not me. It takes a long time to get prepared for me because of my illnesses. But they don't take that into account. Everybody thinks I just sleep in, I don't. Then, yes, I am home early. I'm home around 1, 15, 1, 30 p.m. and people again oh that must be so nice you have the whole afternoon and I'm like no I don't I don't have the whole afternoon I don't I go home unless I have to go to the pharmacy or something like that so I go home and then I lie on the couch and sometimes I even have to take a nap because I'm just mentally and physically exhausted from work. So that depends a little bit on how the work day went. Um, so let's just put that into perspective. I worked, I work four hours and then I have to rest when I get home. Let's just leave that one right there, right? So I will usually watch some TV and, and when I say I watch TV, I usually watch a series or something, but I don't watch a series that, like, like, like something I've never seen before something interesting that I, you know, whole new show or whatever. I don't do that. I always watch something that I've seen a million times before because I don't have the energy to pay attention all the time. Sometimes I fall asleep, you know, so, so I, I don't have energy to focus on following along in the series. So therefore I don't <laughs> basically, I, I need to, it needs to be something I watched a million times before. So it doesn't really matter that I don't catch everything and that I fall asleep and wake up and so on. So that's really, I spend at least a couple of hours, maybe three on just restoring, you know, um, sorry, um, resting from work. And then I do try, um, not necessarily every day, but I do try to get in some sort of gentle 30 minute workout, um, like a 30 minute Pilates or a 30 minute um, walking workout or something like that um in the afternoons and i do that not necessarily because i always have energy for it and, and sometimes i don't and then i just don't do the workout at all but but sometimes i kind of force myself a little bit into it because it's no one ever got healthier by just lying on the couch right so it, it's kind of important to get the heart rate up and like working your body i need to keep my body healthy and strong so that I can live with these illnesses. So, so, so I do try to do that as much as I can. And then I lie down on the couch again after that. Then I eat dinner and then I lie on the couch and I am in bed by no later than 8 p.m. on weekdays. Because sometimes I'm so exhausted that I can tell I need at least 10 hours of sleep. Other times, it's like, if I'm gonna get any sleep at all, I need to go to bed as early as possible in the hopes that I will at least sleep some of the night because sometimes I have very sleepless nights, very, very um, unsettling nights, very, where I'm a little uneasy. And so it's like, so I literally go to bed at 8 p.m. So all this spare time, I don't have that. I, I don't have a lot of spare time. Then I have my Wednesdays off and people always like, oh, this sounds so amazing. All the things I would get done and then I don't have to do it on the weekends. And oh, I can go shopping in the morning where on a Wednesday where not a lot of people are out shopping and la 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 la. And yeah, that sounds great, but that's not what I do. I usually sleep in because I'm exhausted from working 
two days in a row where I work four hours a day. Um, I will usually, I have to pick up some medicine at the hospital and I will usually um, schedule that on Wednesdays because I know that I am off work. So it's a little, I can, you know, I don't get too overwhelmed. Um, I will do absolutely necessary things like also going to the dentist or something. Sometimes maybe do some laundry or something like that. But I, I don't do a lot of things like fun things on my Wednesday off day. I, I don't, I don't, I, I, you know, maybe I film a YouTube video. Maybe I make some reels. Maybe I do something like that, but I really don't do a lot. The most of the day I will just relax, maybe read a little, do some diamond art, watch TV. Um, because again, maybe go for a walk sometimes as well, but, but because again, I do not have a lot of energy and I need to make sure that I can work Thursday, Friday, so I, I know that I have to not do too much. Even if I feel like I do have the energy to do more, I know that I need to stop myself and not do too much on Wednesdays because otherwise it's going to be very difficult for me to work on Thursday and Fridays. So no, my midweek day off is a necessity, not something it's not a luxury in any kind of way. It's something I do so that I can work the amount that I at least do work. Then there is the weekends. And I will say, if we say we have four weekends on a month, I have planned socially maybe one weekend out of four, sometimes two, but, but, but mostly one. And that's not a lot. So what will I do on weekends? Well, I will rest. You know, I will usually clean Saturday morning, not Saturday morning, more like around noon. Um, and then when I'm done cleaning, I have absolutely no energy for anything else. So I usually don't do anything the rest of the day. Maybe I cook myself up a nice meal or something like that for dinner, but I, I usually just relax after that. Um, and then on Sundays, well, you know, I will usually end up prepping for the next day because I have, you know, I don't have energy to cook dinner and prep lunch and everything on, in my week, um, on the weekdays where I have to go to work. So I will usually prep that on Sunday so that I don't have to cook on weekdays. Um, so that's most of my weekends. I rarely do, well, I'm, sometimes I might drive somewhere and go for a walk or something again, exercise a little and stuff. It's not like I don't do anything at all, but it's, but I don't do a lot because I don't have the energy for it. And the weekends where I do have plans, I don't do anything else in those plans. So if I have plans, let's say I have to go out Saturday night eating dinner with a friend or something like that, and then having a few drinks or whatever. Well, then that's what I do that weekend. I don't clean. So, and if I didn't have energy to clean on Wednesdays, well, there was just no cleaning that week. So, and that makes it even, you know, I need to clean even more the next weekend. Um, I will prep, meal prep on Sundays. Um, I usually try not to have uh, any kind of dates on Sundays because of that. So I can rest the whole morning and then prep and then go to bed like that's my life. Um, you know, and if I um, go out, let's say, because Friday, I can manage to go out, but only because it's Saturday the next day and I know I don't have to do anything. And it will never be late on a Friday for me. But if I do that, nothing can happen Saturday and Sunday. That includes cleaning because I'm exhausted. So I don't have a lot of spare time. I think I have less spare time than most healthy and able people in my life. I would actually dare to say that I'm probably home at least 90% of the time resting. I am not as active as I would want to be. I'm not as productive as I would want to be because I have a lot of things I want to do, but I just can't. So people really don't understand how much I sacrifice to work 16 hours a week. And that's my choice. You know, I've chosen that I do want to work what I can because I like to work. I like having colleagues. I like, you know, having something that will drag me out of the door, even though I don't have energy for it. So that I at least get out, you know, 
and I like having some sort of value to some people. So, so I've chosen to prioritize work more than anything else, but I, I have less spare time than any healthy and able person I know because of my illnesses. And they don't understand that. They don't understand that my life is not that interesting. My life is just not that fun. I don't have a lot of fun. I don't because it, co it comes with a price and that price is really, really high. So honestly, I just, I'm home 90% of the time at least. And I try, it's not like I never go out. It's not like I never have fun, but you know, I, I think I've just chosen that it's better for me to not, you know, go out that much. But then when I do, it's quality time. I'm not trying to get them to feel sorry for me or anything like that because it's not their fault. But I really wish people would understand that there is a reason I only work 16 hours a week. So everyone, that was today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, share the video, do your thing. And you can also go follow me on my Instagram. That's also called The Art of Being Ill. I hope you all have a blessed rest of the day and I will see you next time right here on my channel, The Art of Being Ill.